Hello, science teachers. Welcome to Real Science Challenge. I'm Kent Louie, teaching science and broadcasting from beautiful Vancouver, Canada. And the holidays are coming up. And nothing reminds me more of my childhood than this awesome treasure right here, the snow globe. Now, you can make one of these very easily at home. But how do we incorporate the snow globe into a science activity. And that's what we're going to discuss today. Handouts for this episode can be found at realsciencechallenge.com EP22. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. A homemade snow globe like this can be made using a mason jar, which is nice because you can seal it, a glue gun, uh, some water, of course, and some small ornaments and glitter. So when you shake it up, you produce a nice little winter wonderland. But what other things can we put in this to make it a little bit more special? And that's what I was thinking about when I was um, developing these snow globes with our students. And I thought, well, perhaps we can use this stuff right here, which is that fake snow that you can use for decoration on Christmas trees and branches, store displays, and window decorations. Does this go well into here? Now, before, we use it, of course, we gotta figure out if this stuff sinks or floats in water. Because if it floats in water, then you don't get much of a winter wonderland. You just get this really weird film on top of that um, mason jar. So what we did was we took a mason jar like this, filled it with some snow, and then fill it with some water. Yup. And now, seal it. And ready, we're gonna shake this thing up. See what happens. Winter Wonderland. Oh no! You got that film and it's all floating. And this is awful because it's not gonna work in our mason jar or in our snow globes, excuse me. But it makes for a good question, which is why does this float and why do these, this glitter, excuse me, sink even though they're about the same size? And as science teachers, of course, we know that density has everything to do with it. The density of this snow is different than the density of this, causing it to float. So perhaps we can ask our, uh, our students in this activity to find the density of this snow and to find the density of the glitter and then to compare them. That's one thing we can do to tie in density with this fun activity of making a snow globe. Now the other thing we can do afterwards is to ask the students, is there something else we can use to take the place of the snow that is still white and produces this winter wonderland and is dense enough to sink? Perhaps as a class we could brainstorm and maybe find that material and use it when we actually make our snow globes. That's it for today. Please leave a comment in the section below if you're trying or have tried this with your students. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. And remember to science everywhere, every day.